Okay, well let's keep trying to plug away at these tests here. Our first errors have a problem with logging in. It appears that that's not working correctly. So let's try to figure out what's going on there. And so if we edit our app controller's logins here, I, I think it should be pretty clear what the problem is. And that is when we try to log in here, we, we look up our user, but then our password comparison here doesn't make any sense. Now we don't want to compare password, we don't even have a password anymore, with um, what the password is. Now we want to check that the password that we're given in params can cryptographically match using the salt in our digest with the hash in our digest. So what we want to do instead is we want to do authenticate. And so now, if we have a user and that password authenticates that user, we're in a, a much better shape. So let's go ahead and run our program and, and see what happens. What you'll, you'll see here is a slow but steady increase in the number of, of green spots here. Now we're down to just nine failures here. So that's really good. So let's go back and, and see what our, our problem is here. So we got this problem here, user pages creating user with valid information does not, uh, well, do, we want it to add the user to the system. It should have changed it by one, but it was changed by zero. So let's look at that error a little bit more closely. So let's go to our spec features, and this is our user. And let's go creating user. So that is right in, in here somewhere. So we can see that, that this doesn't work, that it doesn't produce the right welcome message. And if we go to the next one, it doesn't redirect us to the profile page, OK? You're, so so something's going on here and uh, if uh, I should I should probably sh show you what it is in in each of these cases here it's when we we try to click on the, the submit button right here and right here or directly post what we we submit and it works so let's see what happens if we after we click the submit button right here, this one appears to work. But that's just because it lets us click the button. Let's see what is the result of doing that. So we'll print out the page body because that gives us the HTML of the result of clicking that button. And so get some failures here and what we'll see here is here's our password confirmation can't boot blank and it's the same issue we were reaching with the, the factory girl we're trying to submit a user a new user without a password confirmation so we need to submit a password confirmation all right, well, let's do that. Let's fill in password confirmation with password. And if we do that, what uh, we will see is that we, um, and uh, if we do that, now we can try running our test again. I'm leaving this in here in case there's still an error. 
And so we run our tests. Chug, chug, chug. Fail, fail. Let's see what else we have here. And what we see is that, <coughs> excuse me, uh, here we go. There is no password confirmation. And, oh, of course there's not. We haven't put that in our uh, form. So let's add that to our form now. So let's edit our app views users. And this is in our fields partial. And we're going to add one more form. And let's call this password confirmation. And this should also be a password field. Okay, so now that we've added that to our fields, we can submit it and we're in much better shape because now <clears throat> our password confirmation can't be blank still. Hmm, what's going on here? Well, we have password confirmation in our <coughs> our label and let's go back to our test here features password confirmation well that's a little strange maybe because they both start with password that's confusing them so let's change our label here let's just call this confirmation and then we'll go back to our views and change it. So we're gonna give this a different text than, than normal. We're going to call this confirmation. And try running our test again. So if we do that, we chug along, chug, 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 chug. And, and now, we see password confirmation can't be blank. Oh, scratch, 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 that's hard. And I think we could go on a long time and, and not be able to figure it out. It turns out we need to look at our controller. This is um, hard to debug, to, to be honest, it, it really, is, is hard to, to figure out what's going on. The problem happens to be down here in user params. We strip out everything except name, email, and password. So we never provide password confirmation back to the user model for creation. So it looks like it's blank. So if we add that in there, and try it again we will we should see success now so now again chug 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 couple failures and now I don't know if you saw that quickly but yay we got success we actually did that so now we're we're down to blank password should not be valid empty password should not be valid and um, <clears throat> creating users with valid information is is a problem so we'll do that in our next set the next episode